I have been to Columbus so many times that at this point I ask myself, what is left? What's left to do? And the answer is move here, but I don't really, <laughs> I don't really have a reason. It is a capital city. It has several major sports teams, including a huge college with a big college football program. It has a young nightlife because of Ohio State and it's authentic, it has a personality. I think the only thing I would probably change about it is maybe give it a beach. And people from Columbus are not trying to be anything other than who they are and that's what I appreciate. morning I made it to Columbus all thanks to Nordeca who have helped me with my accommodations and my ticket for tomorrow's game I'm not in the greatest mood this morning but I'm going to be I have this actually great view of the stadium for my hotel in short north I'm literally across the street from homage and I came here to make content so I really should have no complaints let's spend a day in one of my favorite towns Columbus Ohio I walked down High Street to get out of my mood and eat some breakfast, but I brought some light reading. This is the documented foretelling of the disastrous Columbus Crew rebrand in the spring of 2021 before the stadium opened. After a meeting with ownership in January regarding this proposed rebrand, two Nordeca members, the supporters group, put together this pages-long document formalizing their concerns before the debut in May. Allegedly, some folks in the front office saw it, but it was never, quote, elevated and discussed at the appropriate level or incorporated enough into our process. Which is, of course, what the new owner, Dr. Pete Edwards, said after the bad reception. Which the document foretold, by the way. Aspects of the rebrand were short-lived, as you can see in this timeline. The team tried making the crew just a nickname, but many diehard fans felt that that was a slap in the face after all the work they did under the Save the Crew movement to stop the team from going to Austin, Texas. So they ultimately decided to keep it. Everything else pretty much remained the same. All right, I have no idea what part of Columbus we're in, but um, we have made it to a middle school to come see oh, the Devo. Okay. Yes, we did. I think of all the teams that you guys could be playing this weekend, yeah. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> They're very much down to the wire here and are planning on taking all of the TIFO that they yeah. worked on yeah. to the stadium to do like a test run. The idea is they'll be done by six o'clock. I don't know. Celebration sound is. Sounds like a train? I assume so, because there are literally train tracks behind the stadium, next to the stadium. I don't know. Choo choo. So I'm leaving the stadium now after watching members of the Nordeca put the TIFO up, do a bit of a dry run before tomorrow's game. I'm kind of stressed out for them. It's really hard to corral everyone together to do the prep and the legwork that goes into making match day from a supporters section standpoint seamless and seem organic and, uh, and allow everyone an opportunity to enjoy the moment. I stayed for as long as I could and then I just got overwhelmed, so. Cheyenne from the future here. Um, I don't know why I was being so coy about the situation. I think it was because I was on stadium grounds and trying to be respectful, but the TIFO situation was an absolute mess, and I think that, like many supporter sections, the Nordeca grossly underestimated the manpower and general work required in order to make this whole thing successful. So they ended up not using that TIFO for the match. Okay, back to the video. Now I get to pick up little baby Eli from the airport. Hello. 
If you don't know who Eli Lesser is, you really ought to. I'm not joking when I say little baby, he wasn't even 21 on this trip. Eli started this week in MLS as a teenager in Los Angeles and grew the IG alone to over 50,000 followers. He has so much more energy than I do and churns out content like a machine. He's one of my favorite people. If you ever take a proper trip to Columbus, just know you will inevitably end up on High Street. Short North is the part of that road that is just north of downtown and just short of Ohio State's campus. That's where the March to the Match started, and we hung out at the main rally point, as you can see on this map, and joined the march for the remaining mile walk to the stadium. Okay, so my trepidation about the dry run for the TIFO was actually completely founded because Nordeca tweeted this morning that the dry run didn't go well. And because of that, they were not gonna have TIFO at all. We're headed back from the stadium to our hotel. At some point we're gonna hang out later today, but I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted. And honestly, having this hair uh, done up the way that it is is giving me a headache, so. <sighs> The things you do for beauty. I attempted to take the buns out but leave the yellow hair, but I kind of got myself into a bit of a quandary, so it's all coming out.